Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another uh, pickup video. Today's pickup video number 15. And uh, I've actually got for a change quite a lot of games to show uh, this time. A total of 8. Uh, there's a reason why I've got so many. Uh, I'll explain that uh, when I show them. Also, some non gaming stuff at the end if you're interested in that. So, we'll get the gaming stuff uh, over with first, shall we? We'll start with the modern games. Free PS3 games here. So the first one is, got us for three ninety nine on eBay, it was a buy it now, uh, which I was very surprised about because I, I usually see this about, you know, seven, eight pound in shops, so I uh, couldn't resist. And it is Brothers in Arms, uh, Hell's Highway. Uh, it's a war game by Ubisoft. So, I, to be quite honest guys, this isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I've not played too much of it, uh, to be honest with you. not played too much of it at all. But what I have played of it, it's, it's decent, but it's not. Uh, I'm not enjoying it as I thought I would. As you see, it's complete and in ex excellent condition. Spotless discs, uh, completely clean. Um, I've only played like the first. I only played for like an hour or something, so it's only like the first mission or something. A couple of missions or something. Uh, I died quite a bit actually. I'm finding it quite hard. I'm finding the controls a bit. Finding the controls a bit hard to get used to at first. Um, I'll get used to them, I suppose. Maybe. I like. It's kind of like uh, how it's kind of like uh, you know Tom Clancy's uh, Rainbow Six games. We can like order your team. You know, go to a certain location. I like that. I like uh, ordering my teammates around, you know, get to that location. It's it's, it's a really, uh, really good feature in my opinion. I love that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to judge it too much. I've not played it too much, but what I have played of it, it was alright. But nothing, nothing special, you know. I think the characters and the cutscenes are pretty funny. Cause there was a guy, like, uh, imitating Hitler or something. He's like... <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, it's quite funny. It's quite humorous. The cutscenes are quite funny. So, yeah, I need to play more of that one. Next one, oh God, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm distracted. Uh, next one, another PS3 game is X Blades. <laughs> yeah, X X Blades, right? I thought it was kind of like a, it was kind of like a Devil May Cry kind of game. It's a hack and slash game. Yeah, it's not, it's not like Devil May Cry, but it is a hack and slash game. And you also get like magic powers and stuff. You play as that female, who I don't even know if she's got a name. Last Blades is her name. I don't know. Uh, but the first the introduction scene, I thought it was like, oh god, the guys don't talk. But in the later on in the game, the character, uh, the characters do actually talk. Just the way the intro was, and it was like, hmm, 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 hmm. Did they like that? Like oily, almost oily through the intro. Was like what? Don't tell me they've not got voice actors, but they have. Uh, surprisingly, it was a bit, um, <laughs> a bit misleading that intro scene. But yeah. It's quite tough, guys. I'm playing some normal difficulty, and it is pretty tough. Uh, I don't know what the hell's with I don't know what the hell's with that cover, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game, pretty uh, colourful. Uh, I might I need to get back into it again. The music, the background music, is like generic. It's like generic rock, which is some of them are actually okay, but they get a bit repetitive, to be honest. But, yeah, it's a pretty decent game, and I think I'll I will continue with that sometime. And uh, the last PS3 game, uh, my mum was on holiday about a month or two ago in Hull. It's in England. Um, so she she brought me back a, a present. Uh, I put a, I put a whole load of games down on the list, you know, if she sees any. Um, uh, she only seen this one. So it is um, WWE Legends of WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of uh, wanting to give this a try for a while because I played the demo. It was a, it was alright, but I didn't think too much of it. And so I played the game, and um, it's definitely not a patch on uh, the SmackDown vs Raw games. But by no means it's a bad game. I think it's still pretty good. I don't have SmackDown vs Raw two. Was in nine on the the PlayStation three. I've got it on the PlayStation two, but not on the PS three. So I can't like import some wrestlers. From 2006, uh, Smart Nurse Raw 2006, this game. It's because you can put like modern superstars up against legends, which I'm not too bored about, uh, to be quite honest with you. I'm playing a manager game, I'm so distracted. Uh, so, right, so it's not as good as Smart Nurse Raw, but it's decent. 
it's decent. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really got much too much to say about that. I like how during the matches you, know, you like press buttons like when Hulk Hogan's like doing his finishing finish and stuff, you have to like press buttons and stuff. Uh, otherwise, you end up failing the the finish the special move, you know, which I think is a good idea. I hope. Uh, I'd quite like to see them do some with that in the SmackDown vs Raw games. I think they are doing it in WWE 12 this year, so look forward to that. So it's it's a decent enough game, guys. Don't get me wrong. I also forgot to say this game was about uh, this game was about three pounds seventy or something on eBay, so it was pretty it was pretty cheap then as well. You should know me by now. I only get the games if they're cheap, you know. Uh, okay. PlayStation 2 games here, four of them, okay? Now here's the story. Uh, basically we were at a car boot sale uh, two weeks ago and my dad uh, seen uh, this PlayStation 2. And it was, it was a, a fat PS2, a silver one, and it had like 14, 16 games. I think it was 16 games or something with it. And you know, some of you went for you know, the, the whole lot of them, for the console and the games. It said £20, which was a really, really good deal in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I took it, and I got home, we got home, sorry, and uh, he said if there's any games you want out with these, you can like swap them for other games or whatever. Yeah, froze for a second. Um, yeah, because it was, it was just going to resell it again, you know, on, on eBay. So uh, yeah, so I swapped some games, uh, and I got these four. <laughs> They're all racing games as well. Uh, he also, later on he sold the, the console plus the games uh, for £30, so he made a £10 profit, which was alright, I suppose. <laughs> so the first one is um, Ford Racing 3. See what I mean? I do this every time, look. Every single time. Complete. Great condition. Uh, complete. Great condition, but the case is a bit broken there, so it doesn't click in straight, you know? doesn't click in right. Apart from that, it's in good condition. I always forget to do that. Sorry. I'm wasting time here as well. So, four Racing 3. I've got four Racing 2 in the PS, in the PlayStation 2. And it's quite good. You know, it's a pretty decent racer. Pretty, pretty challenging, actually, as well. So, that's complete. It's a, uh, it's a blue disc. Which I don't, apart from it, I don't really like them too much. And that is spotless, actually. Not a single scratch. And it looks like someone's bought a brand new Played it once and never played it again. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty decent racing game in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't, no, in my, in my opinion, it's not really as good as like Gran Turismo or Need for Speed, but you know, it's a, it's a pretty decent uh, game. It's like, oh, it's not like an arcade style game, which I think is pretty cool. Not too much different to Ford Racing 2 in my opinion, but anyway. Uh, next one is Burnout Free Takedown. 10 out of 10, oh god, 10 out of 10. Must be uh, so this is complete. Uh, quite a few scratches, but I don't think any of them is really too deep. Uh, I've only played three Burnout games, so this is the third Burnout game I've played. I've played Burnout Dominator on the PS2 and Burnout Paradise on the PS3. I've got to say, I think this is my favourite out of the Burnout games that I've played. <laughs> it's really, really good. Really, really good in my opinion. So I'm really glad to get this, and the case is broken. Looks like a mouse has been chewing on it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so a real good game, guys. Uh, I think I'll enjoy that one. Also, Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec Platinum. I used to have this game as well, but I sold it when I got Gran Turismo 4, stupidly. Because I think I do prefer Gran Turismo 4, but this is an excellent game as well. So I'm glad to get it back. Again, minor scratches, uh, not too bad, nothing that will stop it from working, I don't think. So, yeah, I'm glad to get this game back in. It's awesome. Definitely one of the best Grand Turismo games, in my opinion. I mean, I say that, but I, I think all the Grand Turismo games are fantastic, so, <laughs> so I can't really uh, comment on that. And the last one is Need for Speed 2 Underground. Need for Speed Underground 2, there we go, that's better. Um, I only played this for, for about 20 minutes. So. Just a few, not, not many guys, not many. 
Yeah, not mine. Oh, screen saver. Not mine scratches at all, so pretty good condition. Uh, yeah, and a really good Need for Speed game as well. Right, I'm kind of rushing this. I'm like almost out of time and blabbering, blabbering too much. Yeah, see what happens. The PlayStation One game is. I'll charge up for one ninety nine. We have Gran Turismo two. So I've, I've, I think I've got, I've been got all the Gran Turismo games. I think apart from the LA Tokyo one. If you know the PlayStation two game, guys, uh, Gran Turismo Tokyo LA, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. I think it, is it two thousand two or something. I don't know. But it's, it's um, that's the only Gran Turismo game I don't have now. So apart from the pro, you know the prologues, but they're just like. Uh, Extended demo kind of things. So this comes. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> this comes a uh, complete. Um, <laughs> oh hell! We have two discs. It comes with arcade mode and uh, GT mode. I'm not played the arcade mode yet. I don't even know if it works, but it's got quite a few scratches on it. Uh, same as the. The GT mode, because that's the GT mode is the only thing I really play. So out of the Grand Turismo games. So, so yeah, the chart, the uh, chart show British Heart Foundation has actually got uh, quite a lot of PlayStation One games, but I didn't really have time to have a, a proper look. So I will go back there this week if I get time, um, and see if I have anything, anything else I can get. Because you know, as a uh, really happy to get Grand Turismo Two, really really good game as well. That's why I don't like making a pickup video with too many games, you know. I end up blabbering too much. Right. Uh, so here's some. This is a non game and stuff, guys, now, so. Yeah. My phone charger broke, so we have here a uh, charger. Yes. How awesome is this? It's Samsung, yay. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was in like. Three. <clears throat> Sorry. That was in like £2.70 or something on eBay, so. I'm pretty happy with that. I needed it, and my ink, my pen, my ink started looking on my pen, you know, the ink cartridge. So it's a Parker pen, refillable. So I got an, an import from China, by the looks of things, it is, um, it's like five refills. These are block ones as well. See, it's a uh, made in Zhongdai, I don't know. Zhongdai? I think that's China, I think. Sounds more Chinese than, you know, Japanese. But anyway, you can tell me if you know anything about history or geography. It's geography. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy to get that for like one pound ninety seven or something. Pretty good. You, you pay like for one of them, you pay like uh, three pounds on W. H. Smith. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't really care for it if they're not really, you know, as good as you know. When do you get W. H. Smith? I'm not paying. Three, four pounds for just one of these. Man, that's crazy. I know the last ages, but and mum and sister went uh, to Hull on the holiday, as I said, and she brought me back a small gift. It's a pen, guys. Look, it's a pen, and it's Andrew, a born leader who resolves conflicts. I wish that was right. <laughs> Andrew, oh. yeah, yay, Andrew. I don't even know if it's a refillable pen, but it's a pen. I'm zooming now, I'm I need to really rush. I also got this at the car boot sale for four pound. I don't know if it's any good or not. I'm not using it. It's disc disc repair system. Yeah, because you know if you go in game station or that, you have to pay like two pound or one pound fifty or something to get your disc cleaned. And this will do. Hopefully, will do the same job, but will last a lot longer. So. Four pound for that. Not tried it yet. I should make a video about like, trying it. I don't know. And I bought this today for two pound. Uh, since I've started college, I've been kind of. Uh, I kind of wanted to start reading a book again. I don't know why. I used to read a lot about eight, about eight years ago, and I stopped reading. But I'm gonna start getting to reading again. I like reading like. When it's quiet, like lie in my bed with the bedside light on, reading a book before I go to bed. That's what I'm going to start doing from now on. So here we have a uh, fragment. It's Jurassic Park uh, for the Lost Generation so by uh, Warren Fire. So I'm guessing it's going to be like a Jurassic Park kind of thing, which in my opinion should be really interesting. It's a pretty decent length book. It's 490 words. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you later. And uh, yeah.